Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the drain pump motor in your dishwasher. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dishwasher. So locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. We'll also need to locate the inlet water supply valve so that we can turn that off. And to do this repair, it is easier if we remove the dishwasher completely from the cabinets. So you want to disconnect the two mounting straps at the top of the tub. You'll also need to take off the access panel at the bottom so that you can disconnect the electrical supply to allow yourself enough room to pull it out of the cabinets. So once we remove those two screws for the lower access panel, just tilt that forward. It comes out in two pieces. There's a curved piece and then in behind it is a sliding straight piece. So we'll just set those aside. Now the inlet fill valve is located over on the left hand side here and it's back in a little ways. You should be able to do that replacement from the front. If it looks a little snug for you, your option is to turn off the inlet water supply, remove the fitting from the valve, We'll also need to disconnect the mounting tabs at the top of the tub and then pull the complete dishwasher right out of the cabinet so you can do the repair. Now we've laid this dishwasher on its back to give you a better idea of how to do this repair. There's a little locking tab up in this area that is attached to the base of the pump and it catches on a little cam that's built into the main pump body. So we're going to rotate that counterclockwise, but first we'll need to just move that drain hose clamp a little bit out of the way. Then we'll depress this tab, and then we can turn the pump counterclockwise. Now there will be some water in that pump that is going to leak out, so have something there to catch that or clean it up. Just rotate it until it comes free and then you can pull it out. Go in and rotate that pump over. And we're going to just release this little locking tab that holds the wire harness connector in place. So just tilt that down and pull the harness connector off. We can then discard the old motor. Now before we install the new drain pump motor, we'll want to make sure that this surface in here is clean. And we'll also want to make sure that there's a little bit of water on that to help lubricate this O-ring. So we'll start by reconnecting the wire harness. locking tab engages and then just rotate that motor so that this locking tab is in about the one o'clock position. Make sure it's firmly pressed up against the body of the pump and then rotate it clockwise until that locking tab engages and then pivot that Drain hose clamp back into position, and then we can stand the dishwasher back up and put it in the cabinet. Now that we have the access panel back in place, we're ready to reconnect the power, turn on our water supply, and our repair is complete.